On this episode of Country Boy Gas Garage, we're deep into a clutch replacement, and of course nothing as easy as it should be. So let's go! Welcome to another episode of Country Boy Gas Garage. I'm Jason, and this is our 1948 Ford F5 church bus we found abandoned in the forest. Now we're doing a whole revive and drive series, so you gotta go back and watch those previous videos and get caught up where we're at. Now for all of you that have been watching that are caught up, know that we're getting this bus back on the road for the first time in over 25 years. Now we're gonna drive this bus back to the old Stafford Church and show up at their reunion and share with them what we've been doing here on the channel and what we've found. So if you like what you see and you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe, like, and share with your friends. So let's go. All right guys, now we've gone through most of the mechanicals on this bus and the electrical. And what we need to do now is replace that clutch. So I've already got started in there and let me show you where we're at. All right guys, as I'm digging into this transmission and getting ready to do a clutch swap, I'm now realizing this is not the T98 that I was thinking it was. This appears to be a much bigger uh, transmission, uh, maybe the NP435. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I ordered the 11 inch clutch for the T98. And I'm not even sure what clutch I need now for this, so really the only way to find out is to go ahead and uh, finish pulling this out and pull that clutch out and see what we got. And we're running out of time for that reunion, and so I'm feeling like the pressure's on. I've come so far since I found this bus abandoned in the forest. It's taken so much work to get where we are today. Well, I've come this far, so I know if I get busy, I can do it. So let's go! Let's go.
Oh uh, guys, this is like worst case scenario. We just broke a pressure plate bolt off in the flywheel. And my only option at this point is to start drilling it out. I'm going to start with a small drill bit right in the center and I'll work my way up in size until I get uh, most of that bolt drilled out of there and then I'll use a little pick to get the rest of it out, hopefully without ruining any of those flywheel threads. So let's go. All right guys, I've been at this for like two days. Now I broke that bolt off in the flywheel and I've been drilling it out. But as I got about a half inch or so into it, it's almost as if it got hardened in there. None of my drill bits will go any farther. And I don't want to mess up those threads. And look how pitted up this is from the rust. I called a local machine shop and he'll have it turned and that bolt removed within 24 hours. It'd be like $60. So I'm going to pull this flywheel off and take it to the machine shop and we're going to do it right, guys. Well, there she is. Hopefully next time we see it, it'll look brand new. Brooks Auto Machine Shop in Springfield, Oregon. They do fast and excellent work with great customer service. So if you need some work done, call or stop by Brooks Auto Machine Shop located in Springfield, Oregon. And I'll put a link in the description below. Alright guys, we got the flywheel back. And I am super impressed with uh, Brooks Machine Shop. You know, they did uh, great work and quick. I could have picked this up the same afternoon if I wanted. I chose to pick it up the next day, though. Um, but man, he did great work. That was so rusty and pitted, and he got nearly all of it out of there. We knew we weren't going to get it all, but he did a great job. And uh, he left this uh, etched surface on there, too. Um, this machine surface is... Uh, Supposed to be uh, an improvement of sorts too, so I appreciate that. And he he drilled out the bolt that I broke, and he tapped all the threads on all those. Um, oh, and also as a bonus, um, he flipped my ring gear around. Um, you know, one side gets a little worn over the years from the starter, and uh, he has a service where he flips the ring gear over, and uh, so now the starter is going to be riding on uh, fresh teeth. Um, so I appreciate all that. They did great work and it looks good. So I went ahead and picked up some new pressure plate bolts and some blue Loctite. Um, so let's get this back in the bus. Well, we're getting this, uh, flywheel put back on here. Now I was going to change out this uh, bushing, I had ordered a, a pilot bearing before I realized that we had a bigger transmission than we thought. So that pilot bearing is too small. And this has a pilot bushing and after doing a little research and they're saying we're better off with the pilot bushing in these large trucks and large transmissions because um, the the pilot bearings the needle bearings in those have a tendency of failing with these larger trucks and transmissions so we're going to stick with this uh, bushing that's in here there's no damage to it and it's working just fine
Now what we're doing is we're torquing this flywheel bolt to about 80 foot-pounds of torque and we're doing it in increments of 10 to 20 foot-pounds in a star pattern. All right, 80 foot-pounds. Torqued. All right, now for the bell housing. Well, let's put in the new throw out bearing. All right, I got the starter back on, and we hooked up that slave cylinder back there, and I just put some new uh, transmission mounts in. Well, now it's time to get that transmission put back in here. All right, got the transmission fully seated and engaged. Um, just got to put in some bolts and we'll put that drive line in. All right. <laughs> yay, yay.
All right, guys, well, ran into a problem. I was putting those drive lines back in, decided I'd uh, swap out the U-joints first, and I pounded out this old one and started to pound in this new one and realized it is not the right size. Uh, the body of this one is much smaller than the one that came out of here. Um, and that's how all three of the U-joints are that I purchased, so I'm going to have to send those back. Um, None of the U-joints in these drive lines look bad, actually, and they all have the zerp fitting to be greased. The only one that's bad is this back one that I damaged getting it out. So, let's see what we're going to do about this. Well, I just got off the phone with Chuck from Chuck's Trucks, LLC. And after I send him a few photos of what we're dealing with here, uh, he's determined that not only do we have the much larger transmission than we thought, that it's more than likely the more rare but nicer uh, five-speed synchro uh, NP style transmission um, which apparently they've also used the drive lines and adapted the bigger yoke to the stock rear end of this 48 bus and um, the stock 48 bus would have taken these smaller yokes um, but it's taken the larger one so they've adapted a larger uh, yoke to that stock rear end and use the transmission and drive lines from a bigger truck in here so we're discovering that this bus has a lot more customizing and upgrades than we thought which is pretty interesting and also frustrating because uh, now we're stuck without a u-joint back here um, I went ahead and ordered a new one of the larger ones from Chuck and he's going to send it to me ASAP but it's going to take us a few days to get it here so that's going to hold us back a little bit. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. You know, Now we're just waiting on that U-joint to show up and uh, as soon as it does in a few days I'll be able to slap that drive line in and this bus will be ready to roll. You know, that church reunion is only a couple weeks away so we're down to the wire but I think we'll make it. But I do need to ask all of you for your help and support in getting this bus home. So I've started a fundraiser via PayPal. And I'm going to put the link to that in the description below. If anybody could help support or sponsor this trip, I really appreciate it, guys. Well, of course, we've also got the merch site that we've got some commemorative shirts and stickers for the event. And we've got all the other classic Country Boy Gas Garage merch as well. And of course, we've got the channel membership option, so if anybody would like to join the membership of the channel and help support us here, I really appreciate it. So make sure you stay tuned for that next video. And until next time, peace. You can go over to the merch store and pick you up some hoodies or t-shirts. we got all kinds of sizes. There's new items being added all the time. So go check out www.countryboygasgarage.com and pick yourself up some merch.